Hello everyone! I just discovered something really exciting on my balcony. My Levisia cotyledons have produced tons of seeds and I'm going to harvest them now and I will take you along on this journey. Come and join me! So here they are, my Levisia cotyledons. And as you can see, they haven't really produced uh, a lot of new blooms in the last month or so. So we have like a single bloom here and a few over there, but not much going on. Most of these uh, bloom stalks are dried, but when you look a little bit closer, you can already see um, a lot of seeds on the Levisia cotyledon. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to harvest all these seeds and package them. So let's take this uh, pot inside. So here I am with my pot and my three Levisia cotyledon plants with the uh, dried um, bloom stalks. And I'm gonna carefully remove uh, the bloom stalks as close to the bottom as possible and then I'm gonna collect and harvest uh, the seeds. So this is what it should look like. Yeah, the good thing is now that I'm removing uh, these bloom stalks, the plant can spend all the energy on producing new blooms again. And I really enjoy these Levisi Cotyledon blooms, so this is what I want in the end. But of course it has the nice benefit that I have some seeds in the end that I can use for my own balcony or gardens or can give to my uh, family and friends. And while I'm at it, I can also remove some of the spent leaves here that are just dry and not very nice to look at. I think that's about it. Yeah, so you can see they look much neater now. No more bloom stalks. And yeah, they will put a lot of energy into uh, bloom production now. So I can put this uh, pot on the side for now. Yeah, this is the result. You can see a lot of the seeds already fell on the table. This is uh, what a Levisi cotyledon seed looks like. So what you do now is you simply take um, a bloom stalk, a dry loop bloom stalk. Here you have one. And you can just remove the seeds simply like this. So most of the seeds will fall off. You can also try to do it by hand, uh, like squeeze the uh, seed pockets a little bit. But I think most of the seeds you will get out uh, by just uh, tapping it on a piece of paper. So this is the final result. You can see thousands of uh, seeds here. You can remove these um, uh, dry 
white blooms before uh, storing it, but it's not necessary. I mean, the most important thing is that you um, store these seeds in a cool uh, and dry place. Levisi cotyledons are cold germination plants, so they really benefit from a cold dormancy period. So especially when you sow uh, these newly harvested uh, seeds, they germinate better if they have like a cold period for a few weeks. And if, yeah, if you have this uh, cold germination period plus wet uh, or like moist uh, compost, then you will have a lot of success with uh, these kinds of Levisi cotyledon seeds. And I think that's essentially the most important thing you need to remember. Uh, if you sow them, you can sow them in winter or early spring. But yeah, if you, if you sow them and they don't uh, sprout after uh, two months, you can put them into a refrigerator to give them this uh, cold period that they need. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will uh, give these seeds to uh, my family and friends and see you in the next video. Bye bye.